Welcome back to Variety J Games, guys. Jay here as always, and today I'm actually recording a video and not just dumping my Twitch streams on YouTube here. So, yay for that, right? I'm making strides. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, Indie Timmy recently put up a video where he actually challenged me. And the video that he put up was a video games uh, genre tier list. And he went ahead and made a tier list ranking from S being the best and F being the worst. And we have a bunch of different video game genres. Now, some of these video game genres may form, fall in line with other ones, but we broke, up, we broke them apart and we're going to uh, be talking about some of them here and now. I do have my tier list and you'll be seeing it pop up shortly from F, then E, D, C, A, B, you know, all the way up to S. And uh, I'm going to talk about some of, the, uh, and some of the things that I have on this list. So, without further ado, let's start. And we're going to be starting at the bottom of the barrel with <laughs> ranking F. And in rank F, as you can see on screen now, these will be popping up as we go along. You see the first one being MOBAs. MOBAs being games like League of Legends and other games like that. I really don't know many of them. I don't play MOBAs. The only MOBA I've ever played was with another friend. You may know him here on YouTube, Vicious Vic. And that is actually League of Legends, where... From what I can understand, you pretty much gotta, like, defend your lanes. And it's like high, low, mid, just something or another. I'm not into MOBAs at all. I cannot describe them to you at all, and this is why I do not play them. By the way, Tier F is games that I will never play or barely ever play. Again, being MOBA, I played it like once or twice. The League of Legends, that is. And I haven't touched it since, because it's, it's not for me at all. The next in the F tier is mobile games. Now, mobile games can play, be played over on your cell phone, tablet, and other stuff that you might want to bring out with you along the way. And uh, usually stuff that you can play for a couple minutes and whatnot. All fine and dandy. I do play one MOBA game, which is what you actually see there, the PewDiePie Tuber Simulator. I, It's an idle game. You ha literally have to wait for everything. And it just passes the time while I'm, you know, using the bathroom and stuff like that. But as far as mobile games go, I don't get too into them because I really do not like playing mobile games. And... The big thing about me disliking mobile games is I do not like touch screen controls. Now, I've heard there's are, there are some good mobile games, but I refuse to use touch screen controls. And I know you could hook up like your PS4 controller to your phone and stuff like that, but I'm not going to bring a, a controller with me wherever I go and play mobile games. If I'm going to bring a mobile game, I'll bring a handheld system like the 3DS or the Vita. But anyway, moving along, we have RTSs. Real-time strategy games. I suck at them. I don't play them. That's pretty much it. But yeah, moving on. <laughs> we have Battle Royales. This new fad <laughs> that started I don't know where with Fortnite, I guess, or PUBG, but yeah, I don't play Battle Royales. The only one that I've really played, I guess, extensively is Apex Legends, and that's, you know, if my girlfriend and her sister are playing it. Other than that, I don't like Battle Royale games. And the last genre of games on the F tier is Metroidvanias. I hate them. I will never play them. They are too much 
freaking back and forth. Too much backtracking in them games for me to even want to even try. No. <laughs> so yeah, that is my F tier. And I know probably a bunch of you guys will disagree with me. Just know that all these tiers are my opinion and my opinion alone. If you like these uh, type of games, more power to you, you know? We're all different types of gamers, we all like what we like, so take this, uh, I guess, with a grain of salt, and just know it's my opinion and my opinion alone. Now, moving on to tier E, which should be popping up right about now, is uh, Life Sims. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about tier E beforehand, is the ga these games, I'm willing to play them, but more likely I won't be. I've played The Sims 4 and other types of genres in this tier and I've had fun with them but these games do not last long with me. Not because you know I power through them and beat them real quick it's just that I get really bored with them. But anyway the first one in tier E is Life Sims games like The Sims 4, it's a, you know, for example, is the reason why I have it there. Fun game, funny things could happen in it, you could have your own little virtual family and whatnot like that. Cool. Not for me. At least not for very long. The most I've ever done in The Sims 4 was tear my house down and rebuild it multiple times. Which I like doing, so, I mean... If I do ever jump on, like, The Sims again, or anything that lets me build something, like a city or whatever, that's pretty much all I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna put a cheat code in, get all the monies, and build, build, build. The next in tier E is collectathons. I hate collectathons. <clears throat> I. Only reason this is in tier E is because I did have fun with the the one Donkey Kong game on the Nintendo 64, and that's pretty much it. I mean, I've played Banjo Kazooie. It it was fun for a bit, but again, it gets real old, and I just don't finish them. The next genre would be party games. Party games are only good if you have a room full of people playing with you. That is it. It is the only fun I've ever had with party games. And I'm not going to sit here by myself or anybody online without a mic and play party games. But that's, for, that's all for uh, Tier E. We're going to move on to Tier D. I'm going to give you guys the D. Rank. Yeah. Uh-huh. Right now. There it is. <laughs> Stealth games. D. <coughs> hmm. D rank are games that I do play. I don't play them too frequently. Again, I have to put them down for a while before I go back to them. But. <coughs> Coffee. Yay. But I've had fun with these types of games. And, uh, yeah. But the first in my D tier is stealth games. I do like stealth games, but usually when I'm playing through them, they become just outright Rambo simulators for me. I say screw the self, you know, the stealth if I can, and just kill everybody so there's no witnesses. <laughs> Plus, stealth games, in my opinion, aren't really all that long, so. Uh, I don't, I don't tend to play a lot of them, but I have played quite a few, like Splinter Cell, that I've thoroughly enjoyed. But anyway, moving on is to is racing games, which is the next one on this tier list. And racing games, they could be fun. My favorite racing game is Need for Speed Underground 2. Just because the customization and the soundtrack and everything in them was amazing. But then again, it's another game that I get tired of. And I have to put it down for a while before going back to it. But uh, yeah, I do enjoy racing games every now and then. 
The next in this is MMOs. MMOs could be a lot of fun. I've played multiple MMOs like The Old Republic, uh, World of Warcraft, RuneScape, as you can see up there, and just many others like Final Fantasy XIV, and I've thoroughly enjoyed them. I really did. But they tend to all be grindy games, and a lot of the, um, the missions are fetch quests and stuff like that, and they tend to get old for a while, so I do let the subscription run out for a few months before going back to it once I get bored. And the last game on D tier is sports, like football and hockey and stuff like that. I do play Madden, I actually have a Madden game on my PlayStation now, but I tend to buy Madden games well after they come out. Like, I had recently, well not recently, like a year or so ago, I bought Madden, I think it was 14 or 15, and that's the one I play now. Why? Because sports games do not change all too much. So, I don't see dropping 60, 70, 80, 90, uh, $120 on sports games every year because it's just going to be more the same. And really, with the Madden that I do own, I'll go on, play a game, and that's pretty much it. And I move, I move on real quick, but speaking of moving on, we're moving on to tier C right about now. And there you go. Tier C are games that I do frequently go back to a hell of a lot more than any of the other tiers that I've already spoke about. Um, I do really like these games. And one of these games might surprise you. Well, type of genre might surprise you for being here because a lot of people think it should have been an F or E for me. But... We're going to talk about the first one, which is survival games. Sort of like Ark or Conan. I do love these games. Again, it kind of it's kind of like The Sims for me, though. I, I specifically go into these games to build. Ark was a lot of fun because we were able to tame, you know, the dinos and all this other cool stuff. But uh, in my groups, I was specifically the builder because that is what I love to do. And I've built so many different things that just wowed everybody. So, I mean, I, I love building stuff and building our bases in games like that were always cool. Now, the next one on this list is horror. And horror is iffy with me. Okay, I do not play a lot of horror games uh, because I'm a chicken shit. And that is why it's in tier C. Because I am a chicken shit and they're doing what they're supposed to do and scare me. And yeah, I, I don't play most horror games, but I do watch Let's Plays. I love watching. I could watch horror movies just fine without, you know, being a chicken shit and, you know, pooping myself. But, playing it's different. To me, it's there's something more personal about controlling the character on screen that is going to get his insides put on the out. But yeah, horror games is in tier C where I believe it should be because it's definitely doing its thing. And the last genre in tier C is fighting games. I love fighting games. Me and my roommate, Jesse, we play fighting games a lot. And uh, we try to one-up each other. They're fun, quick games for me. That's why they're in tier C. They're not higher. Because they, they tend to be quick. I tend to, you know, hop on for a good half hour to an hour. And beat stuff up. And I thoroughly enjoy it. But anyway, well, we're going to move on to tier B. Which... Now we're starting to get into the games that I do frequently play. Or the type of games, anyway. The type of genres that I do frequently play. And Tier B should be showing up right about now. But, yeah. The first in Tier B is action-adventure games. Sort of like your, um... Your God of Wars or your Uncharted. Which is actually up there. Nathan Drake. Hi! 
And uh, those types of games I always found fun and challenging at higher difficulties. But um, as if they pack on a good story to it, I love it. And I'll play. I'll sit here and play till from beginning to end if it really pulls me in. So yeah, action adventure games takes first spot in tier B for me. Next would be platformers. Now that's 3D or 2D. I didn't want to. I didn't want to split the two up because in my eyes they're pretty much the same thing. But uh, platformers have always been fun and. As you can see, I have the Crash Bandicoot trilogy up there that uh, came out not not that long ago. I think it was last year, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I love platformers, and I do play them a lot when I have you know the time when I'm not doing anything with anybody else. So, and platformers is very fun. But here's one that people complain about a lot. People that I've spoken to, like Andy Timmy. But first person shooters. Now I'm not separating them like he did. First person shooters, multiplayer or single player. I do love them. I do play Call of Duty and I thoroughly enjoy Call of Duty. Because when I could go when I could get a good kill streak going, it gets me excited. Alright. And I psh, I mean, hell, I've gotten a lot better at Call of Duty since I met Jen, because we played a hell of a lot more. And thank you, boo-boo. <laughs> but yeah, Call of Duty and other first-person shooters that actually are good, in my opinion. Uh, sort of like the new Doom, which I do need to play again on stream, but that's neither here nor there. I will get to that at so uh, sooner or later. But yeah, I do like first-person shooters. And if it's if it has good mechanics um, and a good story, I could sit there and play it all day. Now the last one in tier B is open world games, sort of like your Grand Theft Autos and whatnot. Very mission based type games and stuff like that with big open worlds, really cool stuff to see and find. I I don't mind it. I I do enjoy I do enjoy them, especially the Grand Theft Auto series because uh pretty much the story is whacked out. <laughs> um I've played other open world games and uh kind of like um damn Red Dead Redemption 1 and 2, which was great. They they were both great. And I guess you could say The Witcher as well since it has a big open world. Um, I do think that has load screens and parts of it though, so not entirely sure if that's like a full-on open world or not. I haven't played much of The Witcher, I do have to, but The Witcher is in a different category, which we'll be going to right now as we move to Tier A. And there it is! Tier A, which is action RPGs. Um, the first one, now... Um, now, Tier A, let me tell you, these are games I play all the time. Not as much as S, which we'll be getting to after this, but action RPGs are wonderful. Final Fantasy XV, The Witcher 3, and other games like it. I, I love a good RPG. I am a huge RPG fan, and there's... I. It's, it's the genre I go to. If it has a great story and it could pull me into it and I get so immersed because of these, um, these stories, these character arcs, the character building and everything, I, I, can't, I just can't get enough of it. I really can't. But yeah, I love action RPGs and I'll be playing them until they put me in the dirt. <laughs> but moving on, visual novels. I love a good visual novel, and, uh, oh god, what is it called, uh, Doki Doki Literature Club, I played that a while ago with Indie Timmy, and that was amazing, but I'm actually going through the Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy now over on uh, Twitch, I do dump them here on YouTube for all you guys who may miss it and whatnot. 
but that that has been a wild ride so far and I'm still only on the first game but yeah this is my tier A list um, action RPGs and visual novels I freaking love them um, I know I know a lot of people wouldn't add the telltale games into visual novels but they are they really are and I've had a lot of fun with those as well I love the telltale games even though telltale was a shit company and I'm kind of sad that we ain't gonna get no more telltale games but hopefully somebody picks up their slack and gives us good games like that. But anyway, moving on to the grandiose uh, tier here, tier S. And there's only two of them. Only two of them. And if you know me, you know I love these two. And I play these religiously. And the first one in tier S is turn-based RPGs. That's JRPGs or normal S Western RPGs. It doesn't matter if it's a turn-based RPG. I love it. I've played so many of them from Final Fantasy 7, 8, 9, 6, whatever. Whatever number Final Fantasy had turn-based, I've played it. And I've had a great time. I played Suikoden, the Suikoden series, Persona. Freaking, there were so many good JRPGs, RP, turn-based RPGs in general, that I cannot sit here and list them all. <laughs> they, they are what got me really started as a gamer, and if a good one comes out, bet your ass it's going to be in my collection. But yeah, moving on is to... is. This is new for me, okay? As you can see, I'm a big dude. We all know that. I put up my updates. And, uh... These type of games, mind you, I'm lumping in two different genres here. Because I see... I see it as this is the way for rhythm games. And those two genres are VR and rhythm games making VR rhythm games so yeah I'm gonna just VR rhythm games mainly Beat Saber I will find more but Beat Saber <laughs> Beat Saber itself has made me love a new genre of game so much that it is in my S tier list and tell you what I've lost over 70 pounds playing Beat Saber I'm going to keep going, and I'm going to keep loving it. Matter of fact, whenever I do get my new PC, I'm probably going to get Beat Saber on that, just so I can play the custom songs and be even more immersed into that game, sucked into that game so much more than I already am now with the just the developer songs. But yeah. That, uh, that ends this whole tier list. This is mine. Remember, this is my opinion, and my opinion only. We, uh, we all like what we like. And this is my, I guess, definitive video game tier list. Now, I really don't know who I would challenge, so I'm not gonna challenge anybody. But, if you guys do feel like you need to make one of these, uh, you can put them down in the comments below, or make your own video and if you do link it to me I would love to see your opinions and see what genre of games that you guys like to play but anyway if you like this video hit that like button and if you haven't subscribed yet please do so now uh, I, I, I hope you guys liked the video I hope you guys liked my opinion on uh, these video game genres and I would love to hear about yours so anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.